been waiting for this day for weeks because um, we're at a place called Towton today and it really you know if you don't know what Towton is there was this is where they had the uh, War of the Roses battle which is known as Britain's bloodiest battle and in 1461 the House of Lancaster and the House of York all met in a field had a big fight 28,000 of them killed um, and the House of Lancaster won but we're about a mile outside that field now We've got here, somebody's been here, first ding, gold sovereign, gold sovereign, Can you, I don't know what year it is yet, I've not been over on, I'll get over in a minute, but can you imagine, gold sovereign, so me and Twiggy are like just going, digging everything now, so I, I, I think it's going to be a good day today. First find is a button. Right, we've got Torquay Mudlark, is that right? It is, yeah. Yeah, and he was here in five minutes, and he's dug up that... Brilliant, isn't it? So what is it? Half Sovereign, 1877, oh, in Victoria. Bet you were well chuffed when you found that, weren't you? Yeah. Hey, first yeah. dig of the day and all, weren't they? Well done. Yeah. Second find, a bottom. Well, first kind of the day, third hole. Do you want to see it? Do you want to see it? Yeah, excited. I'm not, it's too pee. Just dug this up, it's my first little silver coin. I'm scared to look at what it is. I'm scared to rub it off. Oh, there's an helicopter there now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Scared to rub it off. What do you think it might be? Something coming out of it there, and oh right, give it a clean. It's um, a Georgia fifth sixpence from 1914. Never had one of them. Oh, well chuffed. I've only been here about 10 minutes as well, and my silver drought must be over. You know what that means, don't you? You know what's coming, don't you? Oh, silver! I'm chuffed for my sixpence and somebody's just shied over there, hammered. They've got an hammered coin up, it's an Henry the Eighth one. I could get over there in a minute. <laughs> it's not dead, I'm not dead sure what it'll be, but uh, let's have a look. Hammer <laughs> Here it is, cleaned up. My first hammered coin. And it's Elizabeth the first. I said, oh, I said I wanted one of them. We can read it. It's not snapped. It's not even a quarter. Anyway, there it goes. In the little box. Come on, Twiggy. Come on, Twiggy. Oh, isn't it brilliant? What time is it? Half nine? Well, chuffed, I can't tell you how chuffed I am. Proper chuffed. 100% chuffed. Chuffed, chuffed. Can't believe you've got one at last. I'm proper chuffed. I wish I'm going to get it out of Twiggy's box again. I need to look at it. But I just took a dozen signal now and I think I might have took a good quarter one. I'm going to show you. That? What do you think that is? You think that's a, a bit of a, a ch bit of a one? Eh? Yeah. I don't know what it is. I've not cleaned it. I'm too excited. Oh God, well, someone's had, we've had loads of sixpences out of here. Silver. A gold Vicky Sovereign. A, a, two hammered coins. And it's only been here about an hour. Got something else, silver. It's got a little badge on there. Look, if you turn it over, it's got stamp marks. Look, excellent. <laughs> what is it, Chuggy? It looks like some sort of brooch or emblem. Might even be a war one. Oh, wow, I'm having a top day. A proper top day. Well, I was hoping for better, but it's a button, so it'll do. Nice. Oh, I've got a bag seal now. I've never, I've never had a bag seal before. Twiggy's got one. Got my black dish. He's going to be bursting, isn't it? Black dish. Oh, this is good. This is a great day. And you know, 
I'll have to clean that and see it. What a great day. I'm like a silver machine. Silver machine, me. Yeah, dig it on. What a fabulous day. I can't believe it. I love it here. This is the best day I've ever had. It's only half past ten. I've been in here an hour and I've had three silvers and a bag seal. Twiggy's not had anything yet. See, you see, so the Garrett, Garrett uh, Lady Silver Machine, she's popping them out of the ground anyway. I've just had a, uh, having a sit down, having a rest. Find number three. Another button. Another button. Nice button, that as well. I think Simon's just got a thimble there. I hope it's silver for him. I'll tell you again, I found, I found a George V silver sixpence from 1914, and then I found a, a hammered coin, Elizabeth I. I don't know what sort of denomination it is, but it's silver and I can read it on both sides. And a silver watch fob with a stamp on it. In an hour, we're going for a pint of beer in a bit. Twiggy's got to have some Anakin and see if he can reach the parts of the uh, daisies can't reach because he's got nothing apart from about a ton of buttons. <laughs> this gave off a nice signal. Not quite sure what it is though. It's like got a flat bit there, but it's the very greeny stuff like that Roman colour. Have you got any idea what that might be? I haven't got a clue what that is at all. I couldn't even like to guess. But it's very greeny, isn't it? I think the bells are chiming for beer o'clock. Oh, Twiggy's found unusual find of the day. And it, oh, can you see? You've just, and it's that. It's a bloke with like a pointy beard. Can you see it? I don't. I've got a feeling it might be Napoleon. That, but I, I can, can't be sure. But hey, that's a good find, isn't it? What a top feel this is, isn't it? I know oh, you're yeah. not enjoying yourself as much as I am. <laughs> oh, my bag of silver. Oh, Do you like his t-shirt? Look what he's had made for him. He's got tricky on it. Anyway, are we going for a beer o'clock? Everyone else has gone for a beer o'clock. Dinner break. Yeah. Come on then, let's go. What a top day we're having now. There's Heather waving. There's Twiggy with his beer. There's Spot the Bryant. He's got beer as well. And then we've got here, William. And what have you found, William? Um, silver cuff link, we think. Is. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. How old do you think that is? Well, we think it's from the 1600s. And well, if we find, if we found, if there was two of them, it would have been declared as treasure. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Don't lose it, will you? No. Keep hold of it. I already dropped it when we found it, but I managed to find it again. Did you? Yeah. Go keep hold of that, won't you? So we're at the medieval fair now, so you can see we've got all cakes here. It's great. And then we've got a burger stall over here, which is great. Just had a burger, it's been nice. Hi. And then we've got a beer stall over there. And then we've got more cakes and bric-a-brac. And everybody's dressed up medieval day. It's fabulous. It's really, really good. Hi, Steve. Got a burger. Okay. Yeah, it was. That's how I reckon. Oh, oh yeah, that big thing. Yeah, come on, let's go to church. So we're just going to have a look now in the church because there's a man in there that's done metal detecting around this area for a while. There's the church. Um, and apparently he's got lots... <laughs> I didn't know they had Americans in medieval days. This is a nice, lovely little church in here. Look at that roof up there. It's lovely. Yeah. So this is... Um, Church Fenton Church Lovely Everyone's dressed up as medieval people Steve over here getting his tombola Is he going to win? Oh, You're not gambling are you Steve with a tombola? You're going to win Steve? I'm not Oh, oh never mind Thanks very much, Andy. No, thank you. Thank you. Well, it's all right. It's a pleasure. I've got cake. That's all that matters. You've got cake with gold everybody, on them, everybody yeah. Everybody loves cake. <laughs> Heading back to the van now because we're going to go for uh, number two afternoon finding, and I'm going to find some more hammered coins. And I'm at, and Twiggy's going to find a gold coin. And uh, what a great day it's been in that little medieval fair, and it got beer, got 
I've got all the people in the background photo bombing. <laughs> We're on some ploughed land now. This is much better. It's not got spiky bits on. And that's my first find. I thought it was a little coin at first, but I think it's some sort of little button or something or other. But that's my first button of the day. Don't know where Twiggy's gone. No, oh, that's another button. Another button. Oh, this is my first find on the plough. Look at that, it's like a little lead soldier. And he looks like he's from the First World War. Isn't he nice? Little soldier, like a little lead soldier. He's got no feet like, but that doesn't matter. Oh, he's really nice. I like you, Mr. Lead Soldier. He's got a little lead man now. Let's see your little lead man. Oh, yours is like a little uh, uh, jockey head. Jockey. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Jockey head. What's the funny thing? I wonder if it's come off something. I just found that. Um, is that a, like a button? It's not an hammered coin, is it? Button. Oh, is it a button? Yeah. Yeah, you can't have hammered coins in every hole, can you, Twiggy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you see it? Can you see it? It's a, a bit of a greenie. I don't know what it is yet. I'll put that out. What is it? It is... Well, it is, and you can see now, George V, Hapenon, a half penny, I think, um, 1928. It's quite a good condition, that, isn't it? 1928. Oh, I'm having a really, really top day. Can't tell you, this is probably my most favourite day out that I've ever had. Really, really enjoying myself. Everything I'm digging up's great. Everything's great. Another button. Must have about ten of them by now. Turned out to be the best day ever. It's red hot. It's beautiful sunshine. I'm just having a top time. It really, really is best hobby in the world. This. I've just had a look at me all my comments on Facebook about my coin. I can't wait to get back and show it you and that. Um, I don't know. It's a bit bent. I don't know how to flatten it. Stephen Harker, you can have to let, tell us how to flatten it because I'm not too sure. And, and I'm going to put it in lemon juice. I'm not going to clean it up with silver glitter or anything like that. And then it's going to go in the specialist, special box that you've ever seen. Got that now. Little musket ball. I'm going to have a collection of little musket balls soon, Anna. That's quite a small one. Don't think it's anything, but yeah, nice little musket ball. It's absolutely roasting now. There's Twiggy He's still on the hunt for a, a special kind. You know, but it just goes to show all them people that are out there bantering me. Telling me that I better get a day or so, so I won't ever find anything. You know what you can do, don't you? <laughs> you can eat your words and weep. Yeah, because I found it, me digging it on with the hammered with me Garrett Euro Ace 350. Yeah, and who would do it? And who would do it? Oops, chod in the clod. Is it a nut rock? It's a nut rock. Oh. Loads of knot rocks in here today, aren't there? Got loads of knot rocks. Oh, I found four dead pigeons before, but they're just plastic things. I don't know what they're for there. They must be just trying to pretend to be. Must be trying to just pretend to be pigeons. For other birds. Have a look. Oh. Pigeon. Plastic pigeons. I don't know what them are for. Anyway, I'd better put him back. Never said I weren't a bird brain. <laughs> oh, isn't it lovely? It's like a proper summer's day, isn't it? A happy summer's day. Well, more happy for me than you. I'm absolutely roasting. I've got a sweat. I've probably got a filthy face again, like normal. But I'm absolutely roasting. It's been brilliant today. I haven't found anything this afternoon apart from uh, musket balls, but I don't really care. To be honest, I've got, I've, you know, my dreams come true today. It's been dream come true day for Dawn. Yeah. You got there, Twiggy. You've got your favourite, haven't you? VW. I was hoping there was an old van attached to it. <laughs> no, we haven't got a camper van yet, have we? We've just got the, the logo. Nice, though. It's a half penny. I think it's charge the fifth. In fact, I'm sure it's charge the fifth. Yep, half penny. 
Right, we've had enough for today now. We're getting a bit tired because of the heat and the, all the excitement and everything that we've had. So I'm um, going to go home and we'll do the roundup with the black dish. My black dish is going to be great this week, isn't it? It's going to be a proper black dish. Rain's coming. Over there, it's dropping out of the sky. For you. One minute you're getting a suntan, next minute the roadway is flooded. And two minutes later, back to dry as a bone, nice sunshine. This mate is even more sort of weird is this morning I chose a coin of said what I'm going to find and I think my words were I'm having this bad boy today and it was that and I was only 14 years out I mean what's the chances of that happening? Eh? What's the chances of that happening? I better make a gold one next time. What do you think then? What do you think? Round up time it's going to be a right black dish beauty today isn't it? With mine anyway in my finds. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you Twiggies first and I'm going to move on to mine. I can't believe it, it was the most best day ever. Uh, unfortunately, as you will have noticed, I was so excited I forgot to actually film me digging it up. Can you believe it? All the things I've ever dug up and I forgot to that. But I just found it, started shouting, everybody come running across the fields and that and, and I just forgot, I just got over excited. So anyway, let's get on to the finds. Right, Twiggy. You didn't have the day that you expected, did you? I didn't, no. But you was pleased for me, weren't you? Because every, everything we get is ours, isn't it? So come on, let's have a look at your finds. Yeah, I seem to be a curse with knot rocks this week. And a load of buttons and a load of lead. That's all junk, really. These are all my buttons. There's loads there. And then I found a few bullets as well. Well, you like bullets, don't you? I like the low calibre bullets, those. I've not seen tiny low calibre Are they like modern that. bullets? I think they must be, yeah. So, are we going to. Have we got some. Oh, go on. That's a VW. That's alright, isn't it? Um, gave off a great signal, that. Pity it's got an old to it, otherwise I would have bent it back and stuck it on my van. <laughs> have you got a black dish, though? I've had the ba black dish blues today. Black. You've had what? The black dish blues. The black dish blues. Right, come on, let's have a look at your so, black dish. There's not a lot on my black dish, I'm afraid. Well, you can't have loads every week. There's um, a Napoleon half penny. That's great. That, that's really top coin, that, though. I and like that. George, very interesting. A George V. Right. Um, that looks like some sort of military um, stud, say, off someone's collar no, or don't something. Know. It hooks on, doesn't um, it? It does hook on. If anyone knows what it is, let me know. That's a jockey. Now I'm thinking that that might have been on a horse, cane, whip, or whatever they call them. Because it it does look round and it does look like it might have had been stuck on the end of something. Oh, I like that lad did. So, that's my uh, black dish blues, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, well, you can't, have, you can't have loads every week, can you? It's just at the end of the day, it's just where you are, isn't it? I had a good week last week. You, you've had a good week for the past few weeks, what do you mean? I've, not had a, I've been on a drought, so, you know, I'm like a bus me, three at once. That was my black dish time. Are you excited? Are you ready for it? Are you ready for the black dish? Oh, here was my little bits of rubbish. There wasn't anything really bad in there. A couple of knot rocks, bits of lead and things, uh, just a bit of nails and what have you. The more interesting finds was they had a couple of buttons there. A couple of buttons and... I don't know what that is. What, do you know have any idea what that might be? bit goldish, I thought it was gold coloured, but Twiggy says it's it's cast or something, I don't know, I don't know what that is. So let's move on to the black dish. And here it is, oh wow, so let's start with the smallest things. I've got a very small musket ball, that's the smallest musket ball I've had up to now. Um, anyway, musket ball. And then I've got, this was nice, it's a silver watch fob thing it's all my l marked in that and we think it's charles edward solomon made in birmingham sometime between 1892 and 1897 so that's really nice it needs a bit of a cleaning up but uh, that's lovely isn't it then i've got my little lead soldier now i really like him i think he's cute what do you think look at detail on him he's really cute him little lead soldier and then this was my first silver that i dug up it was an Edward the, um, sorry, a George the Fifth silver sixpence from 1911. So that's really good condition, that one, isn't it? If you can see that. And then are you ready? Are you ready? He's here. 
here it is. It's me Lizzie the first hammered silver coin from 1575, which makes it 440 years old. And it's my best find and my first hammered coin that I've ever found, like ever, ever. And I love it. I couldn't sleep last night. I was that happy. So there it is, my Lizzie the first hammered coin. Hopefully the first of many, but that's always going to be special to me, that one. Special, special, special. Right, so I hope you'll look, watch out for us next week. You know, we're always out every single week. I'm um, not sure where. Oh, we're going on a charity dig next next week in somewhere in the Midlands, near, well, underneath Macclesfield, I'm not quite sure, with Dave Sadler. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that because that's a charity dig. Um, look out for my new learning to metal detect videos. Next one's going to be permissions and where you're allowed to dig because I've had some fright people telling me some right stories lately. My hair's been stood on end about where they've been digging, so I think that needs to be made. And otherwise, I'll see you very, very soon. So bye till now. Diggity dig, dig, dig. dig.